Hello, you silly sausage. Today, we are looking at how you can achieve your goals using the PLAN method. Now, PLAN is an acronym, and it stands for P. I'm kidding. I'm not going to tell you what it is, okay? This is YouTube. Do you know what retention editing is? That's when I'm trying to ensure that you watch the entire video. Because what normally happens is, at the start of the video, I say, oh, by the way, the template is free, linked in the description. And then, boom, just all of that work gone. All of you click away and leave. Not today. Today you are watching the entire video. We're going to have a great time. We're going to watch this video together and we're going to laugh. Oh, we're going to chuckle. We're going to have such a fun time. And don't worry, I can put up some railway runners on the screen or, or road runners, depending on your generation. And we, and we can watch that and we're going to watch the full thing so I can get a good average view duration. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing you need, by the way, I'm using headquarters. It's my premium template, blah, blah, blah. Linked in the description if you're interested, but this isn't about that. So the first thing we need is P. You'll never guess what it stands for. Have a guess. You, you can never guess. Guess! Have a guess! It's projects. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add a project. So I'm going to click here and say deadline. Now, what are we going to do for this example? You're starting a business where you are selling an ebook. I'm going to write here ebook. Okay, so as you can see, automatically loads in here. We have project tasks, notes, and bottlenecks. This isn't about that. Why are we doing a project for this? I thought this video was about goals. Well, you little baby, let me introduce to you the concept of how projects work. Goals don't mean anything. Anyone could say a goal. My goal is to have a six pack and to be rich as Bezos. That means nothing, okay? What we need is a plan. P-L-A-N. We need a strategy. We need a way of actually getting there. There's this great quote, which is the winner and the loser have the same goal. Don't be a loser, okay? You need a really good strategy here, a system. So the P stands for project. We've got a project here. It's ebook. This is what we're going to do. So you might have 20 different projects you're working on. You might have two. I recommend not having too many. I had this thing that I was talking about a few videos ago, which is the productivity equation. And focus is part of that equation. You need to have focus. And focus not just on the tasks you're actively sitting down and doing, but focus on the actual projects. If you have too many, your focus is scattered across 15 different projects. So maybe you want to have one, two, three different projects that you're working on at any given moment. Cal Newport, the daddy of productivity, he says, okay, there are these projects that you are working on in you're active and you have the waiting projects. And then when you complete an active project, you can bring in more from the waiting pile. And the problem then is when we aggregate too many of those projects because all that overhead adds up. If there's six different active projects going on, it's really, really difficult to find time for deep work because that's six projects worth of administrative overhead that all just overlap now. So pretend we have 15 different projects here and one of them is the ebook and this is the one that we are working on. So on ebook here, I can click on my life buckets and we can assign a bucket with this. So I'm going to say that this is my business, my digital product business. There we go. And we can also set a deadline for this. I'm not going to do that though. The next thing that we need in this plan, P-L-A-N, the L stands for list. That's right. We need a list of tasks. See, most people are like, I have this project and that's what I'm going to do. And then they just they're like, what do I do next? Okay, you need an actual list. So for ebook, first thing that we're going to do, start research. Great, there we go. Next thing, find ebook title with good SEO. Okay, cool. Next thing, find audiences, struggles, etc., etc. So I could keep adding to this list. As you see, I'm creating a list here of all of the different tasks that I need to do. Now, part of creating this list, I like to do this thing called the Eisenhower technique. Now, if you haven't heard of this, what are you doing? Which rock do you live under? Are you a starfish in the SpongeBob universe? How have you not heard of the Eisenhower method? Basically, what you're doing is labeling with the importance and the urgency of the tasks. So that way, you know in what order should you be doing the tasks. So I can add some random other stuff in here, like do boss presentation, pick up grandma from airport. Okay, there we go. So we have some tasks here because every single task we're doing isn't going to relate to one of our projects. We have other stuff that we have to do. We have a job, we have family, we have chores, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so find audiences struggles. I'm going to say that this is very important, okay? This is something that really matters because we don't want to write an ebook about just random stuff because it's not going to resonate with anyone. It's not going to be helpful. The next thing here is the urgency. What is the urgency for finding audiences struggles? Well, it's a project that we're working on and we don't have a deadline for it. Honestly, it's not that urgent. Find ebook title. I'm going to say this is important and I'm going to say this is urgent. As you can see, it jumps up in the queue. That's because in this very cool template linked in the description, <laughs> Don't click away just because I said that, okay? Just here, look, Roadrunners, look. Isn't that cool? Railway Runners, look, look, wow. 
Okay, cool. So we're doing this first. That way I can create a waitlist. Oh, good idea. Add a task. Waitlist. Okay, so this is important. Yes, and it's urgent. Awesome. As you can see, it jumps up in the queue. We have find ebook title, and then after I know the title, I'm going to create a waitlist. All of this is just automatically sorting out for me. It's a really cool feature. I love it. Start research. I'm going to say not important, not urgent. Do boss presentation. You know what? He'll fire me if I don't do it. So that is important and urgent as well. And then pick up grandma from airport. You know what? She is being impatient. She can just wait. Okay, I'll get there one day. So so that is not important, not urgent. Now we have our project, which is the ebook, and we have our list, a list of tasks. And because this template is so cool and has five stars and over a thousand users, you can see that in ebook here, we only have the tasks that are relevant to ebook. It's not showing me all of this other stuff. It's not showing pick up grandma here. That's got nothing to do with my ebook grandma, okay? You could just wait and I'll pick you up later. In this project, I just want to see stuff relating to the ebook. That makes sense, right? So now we have the P project and we have the L list. The next thing is A activity. Okay, so what is activity? It sounds like a task. No, you silly sausage. Listen to me. An activity is not the same thing as a list because the activity is a habit. It's something we're doing repeatedly. So that's what we're going to do here. So I need to write my ebook, right? Well, did you hear what I just said? I need to write it. That is something that is going to take a lot of time. That's not a one-off task. That's a habit. So you're going to make real progress on your actual goals if you do habits. So I'm going to click here and say, write 1000 words. We're gonna say this is important. The state, this is a flow state of mind. By the way, these is how much focus do you need to do the task? So this requires flow state. So full focus, full cognitive demand. Then we have quick, which is like five minute tasks. We have easy, which is shallow tasks. And we have personal, like buying groceries and stuff like that. And then here I can say the relevant bucket. So the bucket here is business. And then the project here is the ebook. So I can put that in, click away. There we go, write 1000 words. I have a few different options. I can set this as a recurring task. I have a video on that link in the description, or I can just do this and drag that out like this. All I did there was hold the option button down on the Mac. Now you can see every morning I have to write 1000 words. It has become a habit and this activity doing this habit that is what's going to help me reach my goal We're trying to reach the goal here and it's the same with every single goal If you want to lose weight, you can't do a workout once and think now I'm going to lose weight You need to create a habit of working out and when you have that habit then you can actually achieve your goal Okay, so we have the P project we have the L which is the list of tasks and then we have the a which is activity We have that habit that we're doing the last thing is number and you're saying wait number what are you talking about that makes no sense what the hell are you talking about calm down okay just calm down don't be a little baby oh are, are you a little baby are you a little baby who's scared of numbers the number is so crucial and what is number number is saying this is the exact number that i need to hit every single week what so here i can see 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 I need to hit 5,000 words per week for this ebook. So if I don't do it this day, I know by the end of the week, you know what? I need to do another thousand words. I need to hit this number. Let's say you work in sales and you do cold calling. Okay, every single week you need to make X amount of calls. You're giving yourself a number that you're hitting. That's how you're going to hit your goals. You can only reach your goals if you have a very clear number that you're trying to reach. Let's pretend it's Friday and I'm like, well, I've written 4,000 words this week. That's pretty cool. No, it's not cool. You little baby loser. Oh, someone's scared of numbers. Here, this day, I'm sorry, you need to write 2,000 words. This this checked in task, wrong, uncheck it. You need to do this, you need to hit that number. That's how you're going to reach your goals. If you wanna see the full tour for headquarters, then click on this video here. I hope this video was useful and thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe.